Hello, hello everyone and welcome back to Star Wars Empire at War of Zinger's Empire. Uh, where previously we had to do a bit of pest control, didn't we? Uh, the New Republic and the Hut cartels decided to hit us in our back lines, which we have of course been neglecting. So fair enough, if they want to strike our weakness, that's absolutely fine. Just uh, highlights where their forces are concentrated for us. Uh, so we are poised to retake Boonta as that is now a New Republic uh, world in our back lines. It's very isolated, but if uh, they do still have that landing force they use to invade Boonta there, it's a lot and lots of heavy armor there, so it is going to be quite the undertaking. It looks like they've had, to, had the time as well to actually uh, fully upgrade all of the ground slots there, which is rather nasty indeed. As a side note, the Hut Cartels also only have two planets in the galaxy. They have Ubrikia over here, which doesn't appear to be very well defended, and they've just recently taken Slaherian as well, quite likely back off of the New Republic. So if we take those two planets today, uh, we will have removed the Hut Cartels completely. It looks like actually the New Republic is doing very well, though. They have uh, previous Hut space uh, across the uh, Shadars as well as now Hassa. And then they've got this uh, southern area of the galaxy down here, don't they? Moving all the way towards actually threatening the Eriado Authority, which is now actually in a very precarious situation itself. So it's a very interesting time to be alive in the galaxy. Uh, looks like though we have a ground invasion force uh, accumulating over here above Bimisari. We're going to take the uh, ground units from Bimisari as well. They certainly won't hurt. I am just going to sell this unit there, I just don't really need it. Uh, and I think I'm just going to sell the speeders and the walkers over here. They're just taking up pop cap and spaces there. We could probably use that sir, for something a little better later on. I'll sell the speeders over here as well. Just not really what I like to use, especially against uh, what we think is going to be heavy armor on Boonta. So, we'll let that move through. Let the game catch up as we press play. And I think we're going to take this Imperial Destroyer over here so we have more capital ships there. That's now looking like a decent fleet. Might as well take these galleons over for that as well to protect the many corvettes in this area. We could decide to get a trade port at Bimisari, but I think we're at the cap for that. We are, so we have to find somewhere that isn't uh, linked up via uh, this uh, trade port. To source out. It looks like the enemy's also got to invade the Roku depot. That'll be the Galactic Empire after they've recently taken Kashyyyk. Um, I'll tell you what, we might as well just try and intercept them uh, by going straight to Kashyyyk, really. I don't think we're going to make it in time from Lantilles to the Roku depot otherwise, so we might as well just do that straight away. Uh, we do have a Pathfinder and we also have the Saranen. Uh, luckily, that did survive previously, so if we can drag that, hopefully we can beat them there, but we'll see. No, we don't beat them, so we are going to briefly lose a Roku Depot, but that's absolutely fine. We can uh, just bombard uh, the Kashyyyk Orbital Space either way. And actually, they didn't use everything for the Roku Depot there, so we're going to be uh, fighting an allegiance. So they've done us the courtesy, at least, of splitting up their fleet there. So what exactly oh, do the enemy have over here? It's actually not so bad as the uh, screen did suggest it's probably bulked up by all of these uh, land units so we are absolutely going to use our gravity world generators they do have an immo immobilizer immobilizer star destroyer interdiction star destroyer you choose what you want to say there we're certainly going to use the saranen to take any shots from those massive capital ships we're going to use an aggressor even further back to whistle down the enemy's shields and we're certainly going to use screed for his command as well as his uh, salvage ability so what else do we want to really use here um we're going to use a lot of pop cap here aren't we i think what we do is we bring in some lancers do we have lancers we certainly do because the enemy, as you can see, is firing out some good rockets at us. And once the enemy's moved in a bit and gets the reinforcements... Actually, they're only really going to get fighters out of this, that's absolutely fine. What we can do is move some victories and such to the enemy's flank, can't we? What source is this? It's concussions. It is. If that were proton torpedoes, I'd certainly have used that a bit more freely. There we go, get on the flank of this massive allegiance over here. 
How are we doing over here? Yeah, we lose a Lancer, but that's absolutely fine. They're there to die and take up enemies' uh, shots. Let's get on top of this uh, Interdictor Star Destroyer, shall we? And I'll tell you what, the aggressor can actually fire over here. Don't know why that's decided to move, it's certainly in range anyway. And we've absolutely removed one side of this allegiance already. So all safe on that flank there. I think we're going to just activate that before we destroy this interdictor. Get a few credits off of there. I don't think uh, that will last long enough though before we destroy this allegiance, unfortunately. That's absolutely fine. Is it? Oh, we do get 50 off of there, so we'll take that. Let's go for the enemy space station then. So just a single Lancer, that's absolutely fine. This suggests that they might have em actually emptied Kashyyyk. And that has been on the agenda for quite some time, ever since we took the Haven space. So we might really think about taking that very, very soon indeed. Uh, so we do have a good handful of planets actually uh, to take at the moment. In fact, was it Tagoria? The, uh, I think it was Tagoria actually. Um, the New Republic took with a lot of heavy armour, you know. But first, let's take on the Rocky Depot once again, because I don't like the idea of any fleet sat there at the moment while we're wide open. Let's we'll start moving our land forces up as well. Okay, so quite actually a large map is Boonta, but uh, that's absolutely fine. I think the idea, once again, if we have aero units, we're just going to jump on over to this pop cap. There's only a second pop cap as well to choose from. So it's just going to be quietly brain dead, straightforward advance, straight to the enemy base. We do have a planetary generator there, so we aren't going to have aerial support until we take that on. Or orbital support, rather, be the better term. So if we have any... Uh, bill pads actually up here would be useful. Ready for action. Where are we I do get the one there. Lead on. Acknowledged. Orders received. Right, well, let's get hold of this then. Move straight across. Uh, it looks like this is not very defensible though, does it? Well, at least make a sense note there then so we can see what's going on. And try and pick up. Looks like there's an abandoned uh, barracks over here. Hmm. Yeah, there's really not a lot here to uh, help there us out, are. is there, Andrea? Okay, so we see some enemy speeders. Is that? Ah, that's Droidicus. Not a bother. Not a bother. We've secured the landing zone. Already seeing some light vehicles. Okay, well, I think we start then with two Candorous units. A9s to support further infantry usage. And we certainly build up the field base there, don't we? Let's move up our infantry to take the two build pads here, so that's a little better for us. What do we get out of here? We've got some espos, that's interesting. There should be another abandoned barracks or something over here. There we go, we see it just here. We're guessing there are other infantry then. There's an abandoned, actually, uh, what do you call it there? <laughs> Mine facility. All right. So we see speeders, okay, not a bother, let's pull back because actually those have got some rather nasty rockets on them. We see even more area units, should really have made an AA turret actually. I'll tell you what though, we do actually have ATAA, so we'll bring one of those, like unit destroyer, that's probably the ESPO over here, if caught, so not a bother. What do we get out of here then? More mercenary units, that's what we like to see. We should just get that speeder. Lovely. What do we see out here? Some more infantry, not a bother. We should have then actually some decent power here to remove that infantry, which is great stuff. But they'll be coming out of this northern command post now, won't they? So we could have to hunker down there. Same sort of idea here as well, actually. Let's pull this over here. We will group up the Candorous units, I think, to two, start focusing these speeders. Our largely anti-infantry weapons should be okay there. But it might be worth actually bringing in a single espionate here at the back, just to increase our power. I keep our infantry as it is at the moment. Lovely stuff, there we go. 
That should have the range there to help us out. Pull back here, just stay in the healing zone of the A9s. Don't want to use a lot of infantry, as you can see. The enemies are uh, rather focused on these uh, heavy T3Bs now. SMAT is really sorting us out there, though, isn't it? Do see more threats coming in from the north, though. There's not a lot we can do about that at the moment. Maybe we can pull this dropship into support. But really, I get the feeling <laughs> they're just going to forget about that, really. Not by choice, though. Maybe we can sneak a unit of infantry down the south here to pick up this uh, abandoned factory we see on the map. Okay, let's uh, aggressively scout forwards here and try and multitask. Attempt a multitask. Yeah, that's not happening. Look, they have turrets. Okay, let's see if we can just tickle this one. Are we going to penetrate those shields well enough is the question. We do. So it's just the one there. Get rid of that. I really hate these hover tanks. Okay, we get rid of this infantry as well. Actually, this isn't looking too bad now. So let's take on those turrets with this uh, aero unit. What have we got over here? Not a lot. Okay, we need to push up very aggressively then. Push up the estimated slowly over here, of course. And our pathfinder is not being great. Okay, if we could pull back the ACAAs quickly, because they're no longer needed. Actually, we just whistled that down as well, so might as well take on the infantry here, pull back, and actually well, get rid of this turret. Righty. Come over here. A9s, push up. These can push up the tiniest bit over here, get a bit of spacing. We can start firing on to the generator over here. Let's pull back with one unit of infantry so that we can actually capture these command posts. And that will go down very quickly indeed. What do we see over here? We see anti-infantry and anti-air. That's a problem. Speaking of air, let's pull back down here now. We do now have bombardments available, so I think the question now is how do we want to use it? Well, I think we just improve our own air power a hell of a lot. Push up our infantry. Uh, what we can do is anti-vehicle and infantry there, pull back here. Always use uh, build pads with the aim in mind or the idea that you probably are going to get attacked no matter what sort of planet you're using. Just so they're there for future defences of course. So if we remove this AA turret in. The what we can do is push in with our newfound air units. Construction and use bombardments, that simple. We can just sit back, defend here. Pull back now to the A9s. Let's wipe out this infantry very quickly. Huge hail of rockets on top of them. Give them a quick scout. So this is their main base. We use the bombardments here and we'll try and aim our bombing run in between these two buildings here. We do actually see that we're going to have a little bit of trouble over here. That's our bombing run coming in there. Probably could have used that around here to be honest, but it's not a bother. Is that going to hit everything we need it to? It certainly is. So the enemy's now stuck for reinforcements, which is great for us. I don't mind losing these extra units. Always see them as more disposable, aggressive scouts, really. Things that come out of like abandoned bases. But that would be a uh, plug field in our rear in the form of capturing boons in our. We did actually lose an army guard platoon, which is a bit of a shame. Uh, but really can't uh, begrudge that whatsoever. So we do have a new administrator over here. So what we're going to do is pull him round, move this forwards and certainly move our spy down to Sahirium. Garrison properly at... Uh, we're going to have to garrison over here aren't we? Uh, let's actually sell the walker there. And I'm going to take a very quick minute to 
see if we can make any good use out of Bimisari. I do want to make use of First Lahirian's trade port as well. So we're going to have to probably sell two areas. Pretty sure we have one on Yavin um, because it doesn't make any base income. Yeah, we see trade port income there. It's 250. Um, it's fine. We do have a Ness income currently of 25. Thousands, so that's all good. What we can do is replace that hopefully with a Golan 2. That's going to replace that. Great stuff. Um, what we're we doing at Sereno, does that have a trade pause? It does. Mm, only four connections compared to, of course, Bimisari's 1, 2, 3, 4, also boosted by a uh, natural trade port. So we'll once again make a Golan colony there. And that helps us even further. So they're not being wasted, those slots at least, are they? So the next uh, thing on the agenda, Brenda, is Tagore and Kashyyyk, of course. We do actually have... Wait, is that a spy over here for us? It is. Let's push that onto Kashyyyk so we can keep an eye on that. Cleared for departure. And really, it wants to take things from Charis and Bimsari, I think. Okay, we'll double check what we have. We'll take the excess from Going this planet now. as well. Anyways, about to invade the rocket depot once again. That's because we haven't built anything there. Uh, it looks like it's just these gunships, actually. Alright. Well, we could just move this fleet commander, couldn't we, if that's going to be the case. Uh, so we'll put him there for now, but if we see that... Ah, there we go. That's not going to work, then. We're going to lose that. I'll tell you what, the enemy can keep that for now. Uh, we're going to focus on Tagoria and Kashyyyk and then push back there. Uh, we're going to have to do that very quickly, though, at the risk of uh, losing the orbital space of Terrafin, though, aren't we? So what do we actually have above Charis? We do have a lot and lots of infantry and armour, so taking uh, Kashyyyk and Tagoria should not be a problem. Let's go for Tagoria first to free up our fleet here. So yes, this was in fact the plans I was thinking about. We're going to see a lot and lot of... Uh, heavy armor out of here. We already see an anti-infantry turret, and that's going to ruin us. That's rather nasty. Uh, let's get some of these out. Don't currently have any A9s, which is a shame. We do have these integrated uh, interceptor wings here for AV damage, as well as a self-repair, so that's actually very useful indeed. We'll use those a little later, though. I think for now, try and push up. We're going to have to remove that anti-infantry turret. Uh, we do see, actually, an uh, infantry healing station there. That's very useful. That's, that is garrisonable. All right. We'll garrison the raptors in there, then. And we're going to bring in... Hmm. Evos aren't necessarily bad, but I wouldn't mind the use of heavy AV cannons as such. Okay, we'll pull back here. And we'll leave everyone here as a rear guard, I think. That's actually quite a defensible choke point there. Give us a target. Roger. Okay, so here we're going to want to create another anti-vehicle gun and a repair station. We're going to push up to the most northern command post. Yeah, there we go. Already got a vehicle there, but we're going to see lots of heavy trackers out later on. I don't like that whatsoever, because they're a massive, massive health pool to contend with. Yeah, there we go. There's one. So, use your extreme range, please, on the Candorous tanks, while it's worried about our tanks and infantry here. Let's actually group these up would be a good idea, wouldn't it? Yeah, they're going full force here. Secure the landing zone, which is great stuff. Let's take in all of these. More Candorous would be great. And actually, back here, we're going to create an SMAT. This is actually really getting its worth. <laughs> the shot blocker here is actually a minor hill. 
So the enemy can't do much about them, and we do have great range and sight on our Candorises apparently, which is excellent. Let's pull over to here so we do get sight with our SPMAT then. Uh, we do want to probably bring up our infantry then to help out. And actually we do want to capture that. Push up there. And we bring these in. Let's test them out. See if that's got range and sight. Uh, shot blocked. Pull back and get a strafing run here. There we go. Pull back and get some of that self heal going. We're gonna have to pull up to here, aren't we? Okay, now stay back. Stay back here. Alright, chase down this. Okay, alright, see. Yeah, we're losing too many of those. How about the site here? Yeah, a lot, a lot of. <laughs> just too much heavy armor there. Oh dear, what do we get out of here? We got some snow speeders. Okay, we'll. Incorporate those into our air wing. Waiting order. We can copy. shift click that maybe. No. I copy. Let go. Keep going. Mm -hmm. Let's push up here. Harass. Pull back. It needs to get solid strafing runs with aircraft to operate like this. Over there. Are we still getting shot blocks here? Not quite. Yeah, let's get this down to sacrifice something while it shields down. Great stuff. Okay. Uh, I would like to create a flanking force up here, so that requires more stormtroopers and I think 2M repulsors would be useful actually, considering the armor the enemy will have in this area. Yeah, we're still being shot blocked here. Let's scout very swiftly, because there's Bill Pants over here that will pose a problem. Oh, let's strafe that very quickly, lovely. T4B is not a welcome sight whatsoever. Already lost a squadron of these interceptors, which is not ideal. Okay, so the infantry needs to actually take the reins here because if you pause, uh, the heavy trackers are super heavy AV blaster cannons. T3B is clearly more about anti vehicle damage. T4s can trample you, so we'll certainly focus that one down. Uh, but I think our infantry is what's going to uh, make the day here. Could bombard this actually, so do that, I suppose. That's a big brain move there. <laughs> it at least gets rid of the uh, T4B. We're moving into position now. Armor ready. Just give me a target. If anyone's ever played Demigod, I'd love to have heard the uh, announcer for when we might like, use a um, orbital bombardment. And it says like he's using the finger of God. It's such a great thing. Now, I'm angry. Alright, so. Uh, use our extreme range to take on the heavy tracker, please. Move that infantry and support here. Thank you very much. Is this power to weapons or shields? It is weapons. No, it's increase the speed. Interesting. All right. I tell I don't really play the Grace of Maldry too much. No, I don't need to cover up there. It's uh, anti-vehicle fire. Okay, that's an anti-tank weapon that actually ranges us there. That's interesting. Right, these can actually push on over to this direction. And they're actually guessing something else of there because that's their base. Okay, well we'll push on that instead then. Infantry can serve to take the reins again once again here. <laughs> push up with these Candorous units because uh, they, they'll be able to take on a single anti-vehicle turret. And this choke point's actually done its job very well indeed. 
just pull back over here and heal up. Uh, we have not lost the bunker just yet, which is great. See more infantry here, not a bother. Very much overpower them. Okay, so actually a sentinel would be useful here, because I don't want to advance just yet. Push up here. Yeah, this is doing very well, but that bridge is not helping our turret out whatsoever. Which is a bit silly, actually. That's a very minor detail that probably needs to be fixed. Uh, actually, no, I suppose it was shot block from both sides, so... So what are we actually waiting for here? Just the building there, minor tank here, which we beat through. Bombing around this area. Speed through that. And it looks like they have some flanking forces which are now retreating. Excellent stuff. So, reclaimed what was rightfully ours, finally. There's a lot of expensive armour we uh, dealt with there. So that's excellent. Hopefully we've got over our Sutter as well. But we can't <laughs> we can't wait around, we're going instantly to Kashyyyk. And we're gonna take that so ride on the momentum of victory there. As you can see they're actually gathering some ground units over here. So Kashyyyk famous for being really <laughs> actually quite a horrible uh, invasion uh map because of this massive distance to the beach, which the enemy is gonna start up by the looks of things there. Uh, actually, it's just coming up with their walls, but they have easy access to all of the build pads behind these walls, and it really favours the New Republic, which I believe the uh, Wookiees are locked into helping. So you're going to be fighting multiple enemies here. Uh, really should have taken the time, actually, to bring in some aerial transports, because uh, that would have really helped us out here. Uh, but not to worry, we're going to bring in Uri Fen for a little bit of command and his excellent self-healing abilities. Uh, we're going to really want to bring in... Actually, these Evo troopers would be very, very useful right now. It's exactly what they're made for. But a mix of some stormtroopers and these standard armor troopers. Yuri can actually stealth up and maybe capture this. Perhaps he can be an aggressive scout there as we land with our final troops here. Why do I hear it? Okay. If you don't mind paying us to run around. Yeah, these Evos can shoot Uriah up. Okay, so it looks like the enemy is. Dealing with something, I await your instructions. but they're being very quiet, which Enemy is very useful for fighting. us. See an ATAA, that's okay. Speeder, not to worry, we'll just capture this and deal with that. Now it begins. So, let's immediately bring in some... Uh, we're going to get wiped if we bring in an SPMAT. So once again, Kangaroo's units would be certainly ideal for now. Uh, we go in to stun the infantry here with URI. It's taking a lot of damage though. Our oh, Evos are getting rips because of all the enemy speeders that rushed him. Let's stealth up with URI. He needs to pull out immediately. Yeah, it's just a lot, a lot of. So a lot of armor to deal with there. But certainly taking losses here. Uh, what happened to Uri? He's safe. Let's push up here. Focus on this infantry where possible. Get on top of these firehawks. We're going to lose that Candorus, which is a shame. Hulk droids. Absolutely ridiculous. We do just about survive there. Just. At least we didn't use, uh, lose your eye. Uh, we get rid of the turret there for sure. 
So we can push up this extra command post as well, certainly. So which way do we want to go? Is the question, because this is more direct to the enemy base. Um, I think it's probably the best, really, having said that. It's just far less resistance. Let's pull back here. Push up here. What are they actually shooting with? Just uh, scout troopers there. Really missing uh, the use of A9s here, actually, aren't we? Okay, you're I can once again scout up here. Supported with infantry. Let's deal with that ATAA and actually take that command post as well to reduce the enemy reinforcements out of this field base. So see the bunker over here. Doesn't have anything in there. That's good. Get on top of these stormtroopers. Push up slowly with the armor, I think. Don't see anything in that bunker, which is great. Or in there. So we push up to actually take that command post now. Okay. Let's take this build pad. That could probably be a uh, healing station, back to healing station. And now I'm going to push up very aggressively with the armor and take on the enemy base. It should just be a standard government building. So I think we're just going to play defensively at the rear now. Build up in there in just a second. Not so worried about the Wookiees. There's no point in forcing further losses on ourselves. What is your plan? We did have a Firehawk over here, we've just seen. Let's bombard that. Let's get rid of it. No need to spend any extra time here. There we go. Lovely stuff. See the losses? Not going to be good. Ooh, that's a loss of infantry. Uh, it's the Navy Commando platoons which hurt the most. Uh, we can replace everything else. Candorous as well. Not the worst thing. We've got a lot of them in reserve here. That's great stuff. So, now it's just maintaining control of the Roku Depot. And that would be a great whole plug. So let's actually use this fleece over here so we can maintain control over the orbital space of Kashyyyk. And it wasn't even the largest of fleets either. A couple were mainline Star Destroyers and a few minor ships to back them up. Can't complain whatsoever there. Um, I forget exactly what we brought into this, to be honest. Neutron Star Cruiser. Eh, I'll take that for fighter support. Uh, you were a Gladiator 2, that's not too bad. You're a Victory, oh, you're an Imperial as well, lovely. Uh, we just bring in four Imperials. So of course, we've got to bring in the Crimsons, always useful. Uh, let's just deploy it like that. Need some Tartans out. And actually, I think a weakness now is a bit of a lack of more minor Corvettes and Frigates in this fleet. So we certainly want to improve that. Uh, these strike cruisers are actually pretty useful. Got some good ion cannons on it. Take these to destroy the KDY. And we can focus on one destroyer at a time. Thank you very much. Do you not like that voice? Like that, I'm afraid. <laughs> it's just not for me. Uh, they're going to try and retreat, so get on top of engines very quickly with everyone. So don't have an interdictor. That's one down. Uh, come on. Just strip that very nice indeed. Lovely stuff. So, there we go. That part of the galaxy is now that much more secure. Are we able to create the trade station? Not just yet. Still waiting on the constructions over here. That won't take very long though. Uh, what else do we want to do on Bimisari then? We want to bring up its tax collection, of course. And I think, uh, what do we have in terms of factories? We have heavies, lights, there's a light hand advance there. We bring up another advance, I think. But the next target is going to be uh, Slaherium. It's a nasty ground map, actually, on that. Uh, we're going to create a probe droid somewhere. So we can double check what we need exactly over there. Gotta bring down the forces from Boonter, of course, because they're now a bit surplus on the back line there. Otherwise, it's just this massive stack 
of course, over here. Is there anything we want to improve over here? We want to improve our use of A9s, don't we there? Our lives are quite decent. Uh, well, the A9s are currently sat at Boons, but there's only two of them there. Mm, over here, we don't see any either, so we certainly want to create some more A9s, don't we? Just spam out a load of those, not a bother. Bring these over to Kara so they can't be caught out. Let's see, what else could we do in terms of construction? Uh, actually, we'll keep that uh, on play. Construction complete. And there we go, we have those golems now, so we can actually create another trade port here. Building under construction. That's really boosted, actually, our total pop cap, which we were looking at struggling with again, actually. So, Boons, we want some ground structures, don't we? The We can certainly tax that. And we get, actually, some light factories there. Right, Charis needs some golems. Need some golems over here as well. Beginning construction. Same can be said over here. In fact, we need to actually create a uh, factory. So we do actually see Dengar. That's interesting. Enemies about soon. Unrest has grown on Kashyyyk. Right. Okay. Reading that wrong. That's absolutely not a bother. Uh, that's just something we need to sort out with our infrastructure for now. Uh, we could increase the development of that, actually. What's the full income of that. I wouldn't mind taxing that. I think we're going to get the development out of that. Uh, so we can tax that later on. And I think we create two heavy factories there. We don't need to tax it. Bugger it. We're making so much money everywhere else. Just make that a defensive planet. So we actually don't need to bring too much to Slaherian. Just some anti-vehicle canvases, of course. And some A9s to deal with Dengar. It's actually the orbital uh, fleet there, but it's only a pop of 85. Cersei deal with that very easily here with our Super Star Destroyer, of course. But what do they have on Desutra and Narshadar is a question. To so be opening ourselves up to the bulk of the New Republic once we take these two planets. We can't let them retreat. They only have one more planet to retreat to. <laughs> um, there's not a lot of thought required here, is there? Just make sure... Uh, that we're going to be soaking up the fire with our super. And actually, what do we want to protect? We want some lances. Sure, we're going to lose the lances, but that's not too much of a bother. Bring the Imperial over here. Lively stuff. Yeah, that's all good. Lovely stuff. You can see where our point defense there is so hefty that their assault missiles just aren't getting anywhere near us, which is excellent. Absolutely excellent. We're ripping apart the destroyers as well, both Kraga. Vontor's taking a bit of time. That's okay. How am I doing? Actually, we're doing alright with these lances as well. Ready for orders, sir. Get on top of that Zachin, because we're largely bomber focused actually. Lovely stuff. Lovely stuff. Push up here to get some range. And there's just a very minor base after that. In fact, it's just this one Zaxion now. Very nice indeed. I do still see the remnants of a Vontor, but it's only got a couple hard points there. Absolutely battering this one down, aren't we? So we've had, of course had to put uh, taking Coruscant and creating the Dark Empire on hold. Although I think our legitimacy is high enough that if we do take this cluster of planets, our legitimacy will climb to 60% anyway. We'll have to double check that when we come out of this battle. Uh, and we might actually make the Dark Empire without taking Coruscant, which is very nice indeed. Let's have a look at that. So let's have a very quick look. Uh, we're on 59%. <laughs> yeah, I think taking Slaherian will actually open up the Dark Empire for us. Um, that's a bit of a bother, actually. Because... Uh, where are we? That... Oh, that is a bit of a bother, actually. Um, because I believe, from memory, uh, we'll 
unlock this and we do take direct control of that immediately um, with the Emperor's clone station there as well as another hero righty okay we're not going to take Slaherian or any other planets today what we're going to do is call it a day there unfortunately guys it's a fairly short one um, so that we can come back and focus on the next video for a bit more structure to us of course and focus on Coruscant. Uh, if we take Coruscant we can make a beeline to uh, Prakith and Odic 2 I think uh, we might actually keep Odic 2 as a natural buffer to Nazoth actually because they're still pottering on over there but yeah the next video has to be focused on the core of the galaxy doesn't it we are poised and ready to make a move on there. Might want to bring in some more infantry and such as need be um, because Coruscant's not going to be easy. It's really not going to be easy, but we're certainly going to use our integrated troops here, especially with that indirect fire artillery. Um, it's actually very, very useful on uh, attacking Coruscant once you take the uh, mid command post there. But that is unfortunately going to be it for today, guys. Uh, tomorrow or tomorrow next episode will be creating the dark empire and taking Coruscant so hope to see you then Please let me know what you think of the comments as ever It's always enjoyable and useful to read those but in the meantime I hope all of your nights and days are auspicious Goodbye